Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you a back to school makeup look that is great for a picture day because you're going to look flawless in the picture and some tips so you won't look like this. So if you want to avoid looking like that, then here are just some of my makeup tips that I like to do on picture day. So let's get started with a bare face. And I'm also going to give you some options in this video whether you want to go more dramatic or not. So I'm starting off with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Primer just so that the skin underneath our foundation or concealer or whatever we're using is just going to reflect the light nicely and work good in the picture. And if you just want a little coverage, I really like using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I just apply this under my eyes and on any blemishes and then to get a more flawless look, I also blend it in with a brush or you can use a sponge or you can use your fingers. But this is just if you want not very much makeup, you just want a really true to skin look. But I'm, in a second I'll be showing you a one with a little bit more full coverage. So as you can see I'm just taking a flat top kabuki brush and blending it in with that. I wish you would Cause you're always deceiving You've broken my heart Takes me back to the start where it hurts But this time I'll be fine So if you do want the coverage of foundation You definitely want to make sure the foundation has little or no SPF Otherwise you're going to end up looking like this yeah, we don't want any shiny white cast on our face. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of my Revlon Colorstay Foundation, which doesn't have any SPF, at least it says in the bottle. And then I'm just going to be taking my Beauty Blender because this is going to give another airbrush finish, sort of flawless feel. And then I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and applying this mostly to the T-zone and basically anywhere I put foundation just to set it and make sure I'm not shiny in that picture. Even though it can be scary, you're going to want to take a more bright blush because the flash of the camera can really white out your face and make you look dull and even more pale than you really are. So using a bright blush is really just going to add some color to your face and just add a little bit more than you think you need, but then you just want to blend, 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 so it's all blended in. But even though it can be scary, try doing it because it's just going to add some color to your face because the flash will take that out. You've broken my heart, takes me back to the start where it hurts. And then same idea with the bronzer. I'm just taking a matte light bronzer, not too dark or anything. This is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronzer in the color Matte Light, which is matte, says because you don't want sparkles on your face because that'll look bad in pictures. And it is not too dark either. So I'm basically applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, up to the temples, and just really, really blending that in. Then also what you can do is just take a little bit and put it on the sides of your nose. And that's just going to make your nose appear slimmer, and then using it on your cheeks and temples will just make your face look slimmer. So it's nice and contoured, and it's not going to be washed out, make you look like you're pale. And it will just help a lot in the photo, believe me. And then I'm just using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set to give the face not as a cakey look. Now for eyes, something that I do on a daily basis because it will make your eyes look brighter is just take a nude eyeliner pencil. This is what is the Kohl eyeliner from Rimmel London in nude. And just apply it to the inner corners. Uh, the more you apply, the more effect of big eyes you're going to get. You can apply a little or a lot. But then you're just going to want to blend that in, being very careful in that area since it's delicate, and just blend it onto the eyelid and below your eyelid as well. Now for eyeshadow, I'm just going to be taking Virgin from my Naked Palette and applying this to the inner corner again to brighten there and brow bone to make your eyes look bigger. And taking Sidecar, which is just a really sparkly, shimmery color, I'm just applying this to the lid. 
And then if you don't want all the shimmer and you don't want that of a dramatic look, you can take this Naked from the Naked palette and just apply this to your crease by itself. But I'm also going to be applying that with the shimmer to sort of tone it down and deepen the eyes, depthen it, make them really stand out. Uh, but you can just do that on its own if you don't want all the sparkles that we just added. And then this next part can be sort of scary. I know it's okay when you look at the color, you may be frightened, but you're gonna wanna, you can use an eyeliner that's gonna make your eyes pop. So for brown eyes, I recommend a purple eyeliner. We're not gonna apply it super thick. Most people probably won't even be able to tell. Actually, I can't even tell basically on myself. You're just gonna wanna do a thin line on the top of your lash line and really blend that in. If you have green eyes, I recommend doing a brown color, and if you have blue eyes, I recommend doing a smoky charcoal grayish color, um, and brown eyes obviously like an eggplant purple, but this is really going to make your eyes stand out in that picture. Um, and then we're going to curl our eyelashes, and this is going to make your eyes look bigger again, which is the point of this video basically. Then we can't have big eyes without using the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara, so here we go, just applying that to the top lashes. And then I'm taking the bottom lash wand, which also comes in this mascara, and applying it to the bottom lashes because having your bottom lashes done just for picture day, if you don't usually do them, is going to help make your eyes stand out again um, and not look so dull under the eyes there as well. So something that I recommend doing is filling in your brows just a little bit with a nice color that really matches your brows. You can use a wax, but a powder is going to look more natural. So basically what this does is it's just going to frame your face and make your face, again, just stand out and really add some dimension to your face and believe me, it'll just help a lot if you're willing to do it. So just lightly blend the powder on your eyes and you can also take one of these spoolie things and just blend it even more. And then for lips, I'm taking my Josie Moran Lip and Cheek Stain Marker in the color Jive and applying it to my lips so that we always have color even if we take our pictures later in the day. And then just taking my Maybelline Color Whisper in the color Pin Up Peach, which is just a nice natural lip color, but we still have some color to our lips even though it's natural. And that is the finished look. Now it's time to get your picture done the right way. So even if you're nervous, don't be nervous. Just fix your hair a little. And then for outfits, I recommend wearing a scarf or necklace or something because people are going to see that in the photo. And I recommend solid colored shirts because plaids and stripes and patterns and t-shirts will just be too distracting in the photo. And you can also add a cute little hair accessory because you'll also see that. So even if the person, you know, they'll tell you to do some weird thing with your head, follow that, but remember to just be yourself and everything will be fine. Promise. Now who's ready for some bloopers? Dream. Is everyone getting pizza? Okay, do you want, can we get like a one with like tomato or spinach and like feta or something? Will you split that with me? Okay, hi. Good thing this wasn't a FaceTime. Just a dream.